guys, Bishop here, bigbuildingsdirect.com, and today we're taking a look at a nice 30 by 40. Building was installed less than a month ago. George is gonna be using it for all different types of storage for his property maintenance equipment that he's got out here. So let's take a look all around the building, talk over some of the specs, and see what George ended up going with. So let's talk over the numbers. George went with a 30 foot wide by 50 foot long metal building. At its peak height, it is gonna be 15 feet tall and on the sides, it will be 11 feet tall. This building has two 10 by 10 commercial grade roll up doors as well as two framed out walk-in doors, but it also has five 36 by 30 windows located around the entire building. Thanks to the engineered drawings and 3D comps provided to George by big buildings, he was able to get his his permits pulled quickly and easily, which also allowed him to hand over the exact specs necessary for his cement pour when he was contracting out that side of the equation as well. And having all those steps out of the way allowed our team to show up on site and put this building up in only two days. So when it comes time to choose your siding, you have three different options available to you. You can either go with horizontal, vertical, or with the two-tone wainscot option. The wainscot option is an upgrade, but it does add a noticeable aesthetic upgrade to the building, so it is definitely something worth considering when choosing your building layout. But George ended up going with our horizontal siding, which is always a safe option if you're planning on trying to keep your building looking residential in any way. This is definitely one of the more vibrant buildings we've been to in a little bit. George went with a powder blue for the siding with a white trim around all the doors and windows. A bright color like this definitely helps the building stand out in a nice way, especially on a property with some space like this one. Like all of our other buildings, this 30 by 50 was installed with the vertical roof style. That means that the roof is gonna run from the peak height all the way down to the sides with a six inch overhang. Depending on whether you want it, that overhang can be extended, which would give the building a more residential feel, especially in a deed restricted community with some harsher regulations. But either way, this roof style will act as a little slip and slide for any rain or debris that may fall. It's just gonna hit the roof and run right off the sides and fall to the ground and not actually build up and cause any damage to your roof. Another one of the benefits of these buildings is how little maintenance is actually required to keep these buildings looking nice. We're in the process of going to some of these buildings three, four years after the fact just to do a secondary checkup, and the exteriors are still looking exquisite even this far after the fact with just minimal maintenance like spraying down the sides with a fresh water hose once in a while. Now the benefit of these commercial grade roll-up doors is that you don't actually have to run electricity to get full use out of your building. There is the ability to install electric garage doors if you want. That would be a third party add-on. What we would do is just frame out the size garage doors that you want so that it's already in place. And then whoever you choose to install that electric garage door would come in and take care of that job for you after the fact. And it is worth mentioning again that each of these roll-up doors, electric doors, walk-in doors, and windows all can be fitted with locks or come with it already pre-installed in the handle. It is just another benefit to having these buildings is that everything inside can be securely maintained. To quickly talk over the inside, this building was installed less than a month ago, so George is still in the process of getting all of his ducks in a row and deciding exactly how he's planning to use the metal building, so we'll just go over the framework and specs and talk on those points. So with buildings of this size, the framework will be built out of one set of the two and a half inch by two and a half inch galvanized steel tubing placed at five foot on center. And building it out in that way is going to guarantee the structural rigidity of the building and maintain that it meets and exceeds all state and local codes. When we get into our larger commercial grade buildings, we actually double up on the legs and framework to ensure that the extra size and space will also maintain those codes as well. So when we're talking about coding, what we're essentially saying is that these buildings are going to maintain all state regulations for snow load requirements as well as wind speed requirements. So this is an unfinished look for a metal building, but that doesn't have to be the only way that you can go. With a little spray foam, drywall, and paint, you can easily transform any of these spaces into whatever kind of a space you're actually looking for. All right, we're all wrapped up. We took a look all around this 30 by 40, showed you the inside and the outside, talked over some of the specs of what George ended up going with on this building. If you think you might like something like this for yourself, follow the link below, check over bigbuildingsdirect.com because we're here to give you the information you need so that you can get the metal building of your dreams.